this is probably the I mean besides the Jordans that have memories and the superstar Adidas that I think pay homage and you know and I think these are like my most proudest possession to me uh, I made this bespoke when it just came out the bespoke program is where you go uh, to 21 Mercer through Nike and, and, and you know use a, a plethora of, of materials uh, and uh, I did this one um, I want to say very early in, very early in, like I don't know how many I was, maybe I was the 15th or 10th or 20th person that did a bespoke. I did it mean all day was with me. Um, like, you know, I hate creases on forces, so I figured if I did the elephant print, I would never get a crease. So we did that, and uh, you know, what we did was we did the 3M, and then we did a patent leather swoosh, and we put the elephant in the back. I originally was gonna go full elephant. Tell you a story on this, so to, to label it off, I wanted to make sure my daughter got on it. So my daughter's name is Skyla. So on each Dubre, we put Sky and Sky, because that's what we call her. We call her Sky Sky. So what we did was, you know, I made sure like, yeah, I love kicks, but I wanted to, you know, I had to leave her for a couple of hours. So I wanna make sure that I put her touch on there. You know what I mean? So like, cause that's what's special to me, family. And, and I, I love kicks at the same time, but you know, you gotta be a, a, a good parent. But crazy thing is this nigga actually got bootlegged. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I, I want to say again, you know, uh, don't, don't count my numbers right, but uh, Mayor, uh, Mayor's Denim Bespoke was the first to get bootleg. This was the second uh, pair to get bootlegged. Uh, you know, if not, it got bootlegged. I, I don't remember what number it is, but I'm almost positive it was right after his, um, his Denim Bespoke. With the LeBron, I swear to you, um, I found a love for this sneaker, like, like, not necessarily, I mean, first, the all-star colorway is dope, uh, just the whole blue and the whole white and the radiant, I really like it, you know, and the tongue, and the hologram tongue, but to, as far as comfortability and style, like, this LeBron 8 V2 did it for me, man, I mean, like, I got a lot of other colorways of the V2, the V1 was a little tight for me, like, 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 if I wore, like, a 9, I had to wear, like, a 10, and I was like, what, you know, that was confusing, but the LeBron 8 V2, on feet, um, the comfortability and the, uh, the just the style of it was really dope. So, like, what I'm trying to say is, not only do I like Quest, I like new stuff, and I like the LeBron. I mean, I'm not much of a fan of the nine. I think the seven was dope, but we'll see how the ten looks. You know, uh, people like we spoke about before. People always complain about, um, you know. Um, the new materials and sneakers, but when you have a sneaker that's 10 or, or 20 or years old, like say, say whoever has like 85 ones, you know, it's like, it's so hard to wear them. Yeah, you could, you know, uh, replenish them and, and do some soul swapping and stuff like that. But to me, like, like this pair I have is gone. You know, it's uh, literally talking, you know, this is when they say, say no to crack. That's what they mean, you know, but like, you know, I mean, these, these are just, just the, the moments in history, like, do I had a force. Like, my favorite sneaker, uh, my favorite Jordan is Jordan 3. Uh, my favorite other Jordans are 4s and 11s, you know. So, I mean, like, I, I don't know. There was just something like, you know, when you go back to these days with the Nike Air, and, you know, you'll see, like, a lot of kids these days will be like, oh, I only mess with Jordans with Nike Air on them. And they're like, I'm, and meanwhile, they're like 12 or 15 years old. And they were like, the cra this, is, this is the craziest thing about Jordans is that a lot of these kids who are into them have never seen Michael Jordan play a game of basketball. And, 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 and that just shows you how much power there is into, in, you know, in the sense of being Jordan, in the sense of his sneakers. Man, I remember I, I used to love dirt bikes. And uh, there's this picture I have floating around. And uh, I used to go dirt biking with these on. And, you know, just, I'll never forget, like, we used to switch gears, you know, like, you had two up and one down, or, and, like, I used to get grease all over the front, and it's funny because it's like that, the moment to me now, like, when I look back on it, I was like, you know, I would have never wore these to go dirt biking, because you want to preserve them, you know, black cement, but also people may say, why you call it cement? It's elephant print. Okay, but until the day that I see uh, an elephant being shaved up, and, and used to be putting this on here, then I'll call it elephant print. I'm used to be calling it Black Cement 3. This is uh, my favorite sneaker of all time. I feel like this is the sneaker that really um, displays me, the moments I had in it, and the moments I, I will always have in it. Um, I feel like you can match it with anything. That's the greatest thing about a Black Cement 3. You can match it with anything.